Black Swans Black Swans Black Swans Hello my lovelies, it's Helen here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a chit chat video, so get comfortable. What's wrong, Kimmy? What's wrong? Do you want to come join the chat? Get comfortable, get yourself a nice cup of whatever you would like to drink. Mine's decaf. Do you want to come up here? Come on. Yeah, come say hello. Oh, my baby. Say hello to the camera. Where's the camera? <gasps> Look, you're on TV. Where are you looking? What is it? I know I've been missing in action for a very long time and this video is basically going to be an update of what's been happening to me the last couple of years. So grab yourself a nice cup of something, whatever you enjoy drinking and let's get into my story. As beautiful of a day as it is outside, I wish the outside matched my inside because that's not how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel like a bit of a failure because of my business going under, I guess. I know it, there's so much to this and I don't know where to begin. I've got to gather my thoughts. So for those of you who don't know, I've had to close my business um, and change industries because of Corona. The beauty industry was rather hard hit with all these lockdowns that we've been having in Melbourne. Um, don't get me wrong, I am in support of lockdowns because I put people's lives over profit. And if you were lucky enough to get support from the government, then you were lucky enough to make it through. Unfortunately, I didn't qualify for the later part of the support which the government was giving, and it made it very hard to stay in business. So I had to change careers and I went back to nursing looking after uh, the elderly which I love but I don't know after 23 years of doing what I do and I love doing nails and beauty I'm having a bit of an identity crisis <laughs> the transition from what I was to what I am now is a hard one uh, I really am struggling I, I'm having an identity crisis and that's, that's why I've gone missing in action. I don't know. There's so many questions I have and I have no answers. And it's just a really difficult time for me trying to figure out me, basically. I've been doing beauty and nails for so long that it's a part of my identity. And now all of a sudden to, to be forced to change in pursuit of a more stable income, I'm just, I'm just not coping with it. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. I feel sad. I feel sad that I can't do what I love anymore. I feel scared that if in future I do go back to it, that I face losing everything again. I just feel an immense amount of insecurity currently with, with the position I'm in. And I'm sharing my story in hopes that people resonate with it and they don't feel alone because I know a lot of people have been affected with COVID, whether they've lost their businesses, their homes, their loved ones to COVID. It is, it's been a very tough time for a lot of, well, basically everybody on this planet. I don't think anyone has not been affected by COVID. So my personal story, I'm very grateful not to have lost any family members to COVID. And now with the vaccination rates going up, I feel safer that my loved ones will be okay but what did suffer was my business lots of businesses have been affected by COVID and especially here in Victoria Melbourne we have been affected the most we've had the most lockdowns in, than any other state in the country and luckily last year I was getting financial support from the government but after the our big lockdown last year they just didn't want to give us job keeper anymore i don't know the reasoning behind it uh, and with each snap lockdown that we had um business was dropping off so with each lockdown i would be losing clients they wouldn't come back whether it was because they were i mean everyone's been affected by it so whether it was because financially they couldn't afford to keep up their nails and beauty um, needs or they just wanted it all to be over before they continued with their beauty needs. I really don't know 
what the reason was but with each lockdown I was losing clients and and if you have a small business in Victoria and you're watching this please let me know in the comments if this is the same experience for you like with each lockdown did you lose more and more clients because I kind of feel like a failure I'm taking it personally like it's something I did wrong it's just hard emotionally I've been doing this for 23 years and to be oh god it's hard emotionally it's hard it's hard not to feel like a failure it's what I loved doing I still love it and that's why I'm having an identity crisis moving out of this industry I enjoy what I do now but it's not fulfilling and with COVID I've lost so many clients and there's so much insecurity around with people like everybody's scared I'm hoping now with the vaccination rates going up and up that people do find that they're feeling safer to go out the people are oh god I can't even think straight gratefully COVID didn't take any loved ones from me but it did take what I loved doing and it has instilled an amen, immense amount of insecurity in me the instability I feel around that industry I don't know I just don't know how I could go back to it and feel safe again financially safe I should say I should clarify well, the way I've been feeling like this is how I've been feeling all this time and my YouTube channel just took the back burner I'm lost motivation to be creative to film and edit because that takes so much time I'm hoping to be able to find the motivation to continue and do videos for you guys I've still got all my supplies but finding the motivation is hard especially when you're feeling kind of down I'm gonna do my best because I do miss you guys and quite a few of you reached out to see where I was out of concern and I really appreciate that so thank you very much for thinking of me and reaching out to me it does mean a lot to me yeah so I am hoping to get into doing more videos for you guys I'm trying to convince mum to get her nails back on because I know you guys miss her as well uh, she's slowly warming up to the idea again but you know it's a sacrifice I'll make for you guys I'll allow her to drive me crazy while I do her nails so we can all be entertained in the long run <laughs> um, so yeah looking forward to that hopefully I do manage to convince her on a different note my hair is now blue <laughs> as you can see this is what happens when hairdressers can't open um, and you get the urge to do something to your hair you experiment at home I know my hairdresser is going to hate me for this. I've got the regrowth and I just decided to change colour. Like I put a rinse in the blonde that I had. And now I have blue hair. <laughs> it said it would wash out in 5 to 10, no, 5 to 35 washes. And this has been about, I don't know, 10. And it's starting to fade. And I don't mind the sort of ombre look, but yeah, I kind of wish I didn't do it. I'm sorry Pam if you're watching <laughs> hoping you can fix it later but I am looking forward to trying different colors I had pink before now I've got blue I might even try orange a bit later on but we'll see I'll keep you posted anyway on social media I should also let you know unfortunately I won't be doing a 31 days of Halloween this year uh, my apologies for that but just the amount of effort that goes into preparing a series like that is too much and my mental health has not been up for the challenge so I'm doing a little bit of self-care and putting that off perhaps for next year um, I'll make it bigger and better next year for you I might do a nail or two during the month of October but a whole 31 days is out of the question at the moment and I hope you understand 
um, but I'll make it bigger and better for you next year, uh, I hope. <laughs> On that note, I guess I should wrap this video up. Um, and thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate you so much. It means so much to me when you comment as well. So do please comment down below. Anything you want to comment to let me know. Give me an update on your life. I'd love to hear what's happening with you. Um, and let's chat about it in the comments. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, do subscribe and that way you won't miss a video, especially if you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified of any video I put out. Like this video to help the algorithm and that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. You take care. Bye.